Hey everyone, it's Patrick with Univium. Uh, I just wanted to show y'all real quick uh, how you can build a web user interface with Google Apps Script, uh, which is free, of course. Uh, this is just a really neat feature that I wish I would have known about earlier on when I first started using Google Apps Script. Um, pretty much exactly, you know, what I just said is it's you can build a full user interface web application straight off of Google Apps Script. Uh, this one I built, you know, it's using mock data, but it's uh, real simple. It's only these two uh, files right here. I put it together in a couple of minutes using ChatGPT and uh, Claude AI. Um, and so it's, uh, again, just this app script connected to this uh, Google Sheet, uh, which is kind of used as the kind of database uh, for this thing. And then... Uh, you can do all sorts of stuff. Uh, you know, you have a nav menu here. Um, it's even, you know, you can have a pop-up and uh, just to kind of demonstrate, uh, I'll make a task right here. Recording and uploading. Um, leave the status to new. You can, you know, have multiple users, select a user. Uh, so let's just select one here. Uh, do branding, add task. And so it is kind of slow, uh, but remember, you know, Google Apps Script is free. This is completely free, uh, easy to get it up and running. And so for me, I really like it because I don't have to set up a whole web server. If I want to make uh, some kind of web application, I can just uh, create a Google Apps Script, use a Google Sheet as a database, and uh, I'm all good to go. And so... I really, really uh, think this is an awesome feature. Um, trying to think about what else. Of course, there's a, a feature where you can edit it. Uh, I ran out of time while making this video to go and add that in. Uh, but, you know, delete. You know, you can really do all sorts of functionality uh, and whatnot. And so, uh, you know, if you want to add forms on, on this where you can add new projects, of course, you can do that. You know, add new users. Uh, something that's really neat if you want to make it where, you know, it knows who's signed in and kind of have that that security where a user who's signed in is only going to see their content, uh, you can do that as well. Um, and again, so, so some people will kind of ask, you know, well, why do you want to use a web application as opposed to just building everything in Google Sheets? Uh, and if I'm sure if you've ever used spreadsheets, you know how it can get messy and it can get messy fast. And if you have a lot of data and a, a complex data structure with like relationships and that sort of thing, uh, I, I definitely would kind of start looking at, hey, you know, should we kind of build a, a web application for that? You know, uh, it can help with data consistency, data governance, you know, uh, just making your data a lot more uh, clean and usable, which is really important for, for building a, a strong automation. So. I uh, definitely highly recommend it. So I won't go really into how, how I set this up. You know, you can go and look at the code if you want. Uh, I do have a uh, GitHub repository, and I'll put a link in the description. I put all of this code in the repository. Uh, let's see. Where did I put it? There we go. Under web user interface. You can find it all right here, including the mock uh, data set, which you can just put into a a Google Sheet, um, and then, of course, if if you're really not familiar with Google Apps Script, definitely go check out some of my other videos. But all you really have to do is just make sure you set this uh, script property uh, down here, and then make sure you uh, when you deploy, you know, you deploy as a uh, deploy as a web app when you're selecting the type. And then once you deploy, you should be able to get this URL right here. And uh, then at that point, you should be good to go. And it is a little bit, again, it's a little bit slow uh, when it loads for the first time, but you can't beat free. And so I uh, really think it's a great tool. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions, leave a comment or feel free to reach out. If anyone needs any help building out something like this, just let me know. Take care.